very, very much the conversations where I'm pleased to welcome to the program um, um, Naib Gilati, Naib Gilati, who is a journalist and has an extremely interesting uh, story to tell. He's the chairman of an interesting organization called the World Organization of Jews from Islamic Countries. And uh, Naeem, welcome very, very much to Conversations and to the Manhattan Neighborhood Thank Network you Studios. Very, okay. Thank you very much. You it's have an interesting story to tell. You lived some 30-odd years in Israel, but you were born originally in Iraq. Uh, you are a journalist. And I wonder, we want to talk about a great number of things, things that are going on in Israel and the Middle East now. We're speaking in uh, October of 1994. But I wonder, maybe the best place for us to begin is to be with your own personal experience. You were originally born in Iraq, and I wonder if maybe you could share with us your own background a little bit, and then uh, uh, we could talk some about your, your experiences uh, coming out of Iraq, as it were. Yes. Uh, then uh, we have to go back a uh, few years ago, which mean when I was born uh, in Iraq, uh, it was... 68 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I born for uh, a feudalist family, mm -hmm. Jewish, mm -hmm. religious. And uh, what uh, my grandfather said, that we are in Iraq more than 2,500 years. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So mean uh, historical uh, when Nebuchadnezzar, Nassar, the leader of uh, Babylon, come and destroyed Jerusalem yeah. and yeah. They take many prisoners, mm -hmm. uh, Jewish prisoners from Jerusalem to Babylon. Indeed. indeed. Yes, yes. Uh, 2,600 years ago. Yeah. And we are part of this group mm -hmm. that they take prisoners to Babylon. Uh -huh. It's not the prisoners, it's to take the people to put them there, yeah. to leave their freedom. And they've lived there ever since. Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And the, these Jews, when they come uh, to Iraq, they start their life, their culture from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, they build, they product many, many uh, uh, things. Uh, for example, uh, they build a like uh, today, like the colleges, mm -hmm. and that time they call it yeshiva. Yeshiva. Okay. Yes, but it is not yeshiva like today. No? Today it's just religious. Yes. But in that time, no. Huh. Many science, uh -huh. uh, astrology, uh, also uh, uh, accounting, many, many things. Yes, it was yes. Like, a, like a college or a university. Yes, yes. Yeah. And medicine. Yes. Uh, three, three colleges like that, one Sura, mm -hmm. her name is Sura, one Pompadita, mm -hmm. and one Nahardea. These go back that many thousands of years? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. It's interesting, yeah. And uh, they uh, uh, teach uh, a new cadres of uh, uh, religious leaders, and also of uh, a community uh, leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, if we read today, they knew not what they write about uh, the Jews from uh, Babylon before three, four lines or one pages. No. Yeah, yeah. But there is books in uh, Israeli universities that uh, it's come uh, research of uh, the histories and all is uh, with notice, mm -hmm. yes, that it was a very, very rich uh, uh, period mm -hmm. of uh, the history, about 2,500 years Amazing. of the Jews in uh, Babylon. We just had 200 years in the United States is nothing, 200 years. <laughs> 2,000 years, it's hard to imagine. 2,500 years. The center of civilization, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. And uh, another thing uh, that we have to look, that Jerusalem, yes. before that, before the uh, an, uh, uh, attack of the Babylonian on Jerusalem, Jerusalem it was the center of the Jews in the world. Yes. 
But after the Babil, uh, after that, Babylon came to be the center of the Jews. In Beca the world. Yes, in yeah. the world. Bec even they take the orders mm. and the, the uh, uh, what to do, what to not to do for uh, many, many things. Even the calendar, the Hebrew calendar yes. uh, for the Jews is come from Babylon. Thank goodness we took the Arabic number or the, or the, the other numeral, the, the, the numbers that we have uh, finally adopted. You know, uh, between the mm -hmm. Arabic numbers and the, the English numbers of today, yeah. it's no different, uh, not too much different. I know, I know. Thank yes. goodness we got those. Yeah. If, you, if you look uh, to... How would you like to have to do mathematics with Roman numerals? It would yes, be all but, but impossible. You find yeah. that mm. it is mm. same. For example, yes, right. this is one is same thing. Arabic yeah. and uh, what we have today. Yeah. And this is two in English, yes. but this is two in Arabic. Oh, I see, right. And uh, three in Arabic, three in English. Yeah. You see, it's no different. And I can attest to the fact that he is writing out the numbers and that the numbers, the numerical system that we get and use with the zero, yeah. the mathematics that we use, we got from the Arabs. And yes. if, we, if we had not had that, or from Islam in a certain sense, uh, and if we did not have that system, we would be in a fine fix trying to work with modern mathematics, trying to work, imagine yes. trying to divide with Roman numerals or something, it would be impossible. Yeah. But we stray, we stray a little bit. Because the, the Roman come to, the, to yeah. uh, occupy the, the Middle East. Sure they, they did. They learned too much. The Persians had been, yes. and the Romans. Yeah, For example, so until today the in a mathematics, <coughs> mm -hmm. there is a... a uh, formula in a mathematics, they call it algebra. Algebra. Yes. Yeah. This word, it was in Arabic algebra. Aha. Uh -huh. And who created it? Yeah. It was the Arab. Uh -huh. uh, but in that time, they don't look if he is Jews or Muslim, uh -huh. but he is an Arab. Yes. Because we was Arab Jews too. Aha. Uh -huh. You were Arab Jews, yes. right, right. And there are like Arab American, Jews. you have here a Christian American yeah. and Jewish American. Right. And uh, there also it was, we are Arab, uh -huh. but uh, in a, a religion, uh -huh. we are we're Jewish. Jewish. That's it. And how did it, over the long, you, so your family, yes. your family, because many of the Jews after the temple and so forth, and after Babylon, many of the Jews of the world went in diaspora into Europe, they went into other parts of the world, right? You stayed in, or your family yes. that you were descended of, stayed in um, Iraq, right? yes. what it was to become Iraq, and in that part of the world, and many of them stayed in what was the Islamic, what came to be after the 7th century AD, came to be the Islamic part of the world. And how generally were, over that long period, the Jews who were in diaspora... To stay there. How were they treated? Were they treated well? Were they treated badly? How were they treated in uh, these uh, multicultural places where they About lived? your Let's question, see. I write here the answer, but I can tell you exactly a uh, summary. I'm thinking over the long haul, you know, yes. over the long history. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, our life mm -hmm. in Iraq, it's not make sense before the Islam or after. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not change uh, too much. I see. But with the Islam, we change for better. The uh -huh. life of the Jews there has come better, uh, especially in the uh, period of the Khalifs, the Khalifs mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Baghdad. Yes. And uh, the leader of the Jewish community, they call it uh, Nasi, it means the president. Uh -huh. And uh, when he come to visit the uh, uh, hall, like here, city hall, yes. it was the hall of the Khalif. The Khalif stand yes. with his all uh, uh, advice yes. and uh, to uh, welcome uh -huh. the president of the Jewish community. Really, yeah, yes. right, yeah. And that was the center, and it was good for people to know at the time of the Caliph, that was the cultural center of the world. Yes. And at that time, Europe was a backwater. I mean, in a, in a, in a very real sense. right. That was, that was the cultural center it's of right. the world. right. Also, yeah. uh, I give you example about the Islam, how much help us, and the, it was a, 